Spending the night in the park was very romantic, not to mention cuddling together till the sun rose. I, I didn't ever want it to end, and, and I don't ever want to really sleep alone again. I've never slept better, and I've never been happier. And before the video begins, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I very much appreciate it. Well, now that we've eaten breakfast, I guess we should um, go ahead and start, you know, getting things ready and go ahead and start heading home. Don't you? Don't you think? Yeah, I guess so. It'd be nice to take an actual shower. I feel like my hair smells. Well, seeing as you were the little spoon last night, I can let you know that your hair smells just fine. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been cuddling like we were last night. You, you smelled very nice. Well, glad to know. I was self-conscious about it when we laid down for the night. <laughs> well, no worries, cutie. You smell just fine. But a shower does sound nice. I would have to agree with what you said. I guess I'll uh, take one myself. Good idea. Then maybe after we clean the smell of nature off, we can hang out? Well, I wouldn't want it any other way, Deb. Um, so what would you like to do now? I kind of feel like we've done just about everything there is to do here in Sandy Springs. I mean, uh, yeah, no, that I can't think of anything else. Well, why don't we just relax today? Maybe just watch some movies and get back to cuddling? Cuddling? Yeah, oh, I, I would really like that. Well, um, how about uh, I walk you home, and then you can uh, meet me at my place after your shower? Oh, well, my house is out of the way. I'll just text you when I'm walking over, okay? Oh, um, well, yeah, sure. Well, uh, I, I can still walk you to town if that's okay, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, sounds good, cutie. Let's get packed up and head that way. Okay, and then my dad can come back and pick up most of the rest of this stuff. I can carry the fishing equipment, but we'll, you know, just make everything nice and pretty so when my dad gets here, it's, you know, easy for him. <laughs> Agreed. All right, well, I'll start on the tent. Sounds good, and I'll clean up around the campfire. Awesome. Hooray for teamwork. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Okay, let me start over here on this side. Oh, man. Well, it's really nice to, you know, be in clean clothes and fresh out of the shower. That shower really was enjoyable. It was uh, definitely well needed because I kind of smelled like river water. But, you know, Deb said that she thought that her hair smelled bad, but she didn't smell bad at all to me. But that might just be m me, you know, being in love and whatnot, not really caring if she smelled bad. Which, I mean, I don't think she smelled bad. But like I said, maybe it's my mind playing a trick on me and she actually did smell bad. Because I smelt like river water. I know I smelt like river water. And river water isn't gross or anything, but, well, it's, it's river water. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I would prefer to smell like uh, shampoo and, uh, you know, body wash. So, <laughs> oh. but yesterday was great. Hopefully this summer me and Deb can go out there to the campground a lot more often because I enjoyed being able to cuddle with her and my parents were technically all right with us cuddling. They wanted us to be in separate sleeping bags, but they weren't there to know if we were in separate, separate sleeping bags or not. So... Yeah, it was all right that we slept in the same tent. They just wanted this piece of cloth between the two of us. Why, I don't know, but we were like, eh, screw that. And we, we were able to cuddle, and it was, well, it was incredible. I mean, it was the best time I've ever had with Deb Evra. Evra. Deborah. Deborah. Evra. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. That was weird. Oh. Uh. But I don't know. I don't understand why mom and dad wanted to make a big deal of that whole situation. They were like, sleep in separate sleeping bags, but whatever. I hate I have to sleep alone tonight, though. Especially in such a big bed, it'd be really nice if she was able to sleep with me. I mean, it was the best sleep I've ever gotten. I even woke up early, and I was just happy to be there with her and have her in my arms. Even when my hand fell asleep because she laid on it oddly. But that was fine. I didn't even care. It was wonderful. <sighs> if only she could spend the night here in my bed. Wait a minute. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I think I have a plan. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to talk to Deb about this.
And yeah, she outfished me by, oh gosh, what was it, six, I think? But I did catch the biggest fish, so, I mean, I don't feel like it's a complete loss, even though I did technically lose. But don't let her know that. I said that she lost because, you know, I caught the biggest fish, so, yeah, manhood, stuff like that. <laughs> Son, it's okay to be outfished as long as you were both having fun. It wasn't a competition. If it was, there would have been some money involved. And if there's ever some money involved, let me know. I might uh, join in on that competition. Wait, are you promoting gambling to me, Dad? Well, I guess I am. <laughs> well, don't worry. I, I won't tell Mom, you know, you're being a bad influence on me or anything like that. <laughs> Thanks, kiddo. So, other than fishing, how'd everything else go? Well, everything else went uh, really great. We swam for a bit uh, twice in the river, which was uh, always uh, enjoyable. And then we went hiking um, up uh, Spring Creek Mountain. Oh, boy. Your mom and I hiked that once when you were little. It was awful. Yeah, we didn't make it to the top. Uh, we just got really tired, and then we decided to go swimming again. But we went up... Uh, Oh, if I had to put, put a percentage on it, I'd say about 60% up and then, you know, back down. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you kids had fun. I best get off and get the equipment now. Oh, yeah, right. Um, Do you need any help, you know, loading or anything? Oh, I got it. Besides, you said Deborah was coming over. You kids just have fun. I love you, buddy. Yeah, uh, love you too, Dad. And just uh, be careful. All right, well, Dad's off to go get the equipment, and Deborah should be here shortly. And then I can uh, tell her my idea. Hopefully she's, you know, up for it and, you know, finds it to be a fine idea. But I don't know. I thought it would be something fun to do if she's up for the challenge, which it will be a little daring, a little scary. But I think if we do it just right, we can definitely enjoy some more cuddles, which I enjoyed the cuddles very much last night. I didn't really talk to her about if she enjoyed it, but I know, gosh darn it, I enjoyed it. Well, I mean, other than when my hand fell asleep. So, just got to be careful and uh, make sure that uh, I place my hand just right so it doesn't do that again. Huh? Well, I guess that would be her. Oh, uh, hey, Deb. Uh, my dad just left, so it's uh, just me and you right now. Not uh, sure where mom is, but uh, she's not here at home. Oh, well, that's fine. And I saw your dad. I talked to him for a second. Awesome. Well, uh, hey, I, uh, I want to talk to you about an idea I had. Okay. What idea is that? Okay. Well, last night was really fun. And cuddling with you was, well, great for me. W right? Was it good for you? Yeah, of course. I loved being held by you last night. Well, good. Um, what if I, uh, I had an idea that would allow us to, you know, hang out again and you could sleep over again? You mean you want to go camping again? Well, no, but I mean, eventually we can go camping again, but how about a sleepover here at my house? Your parents would be all right with me spending the night here? Hmm, I don't know, and I'm not going to ask them because, well, this is the way I'm kind of looking at it. What I was thinking is, after my parents fell asleep, you can sneak over. And, you know, we just get you out of the house before they wake up. It, it would allow you to be able to spend the night here in my bed instead of out, you know, in nature. Which, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed myself, but you could do it here. Well, I mean, it could work. I would just go home and go to sleep so my parents think I went to bed. And then once you text me, I can sneak over. Yeah, and then you can get back in bed before your parents notice you were ever gone. It's the perfect plan. Well, I say let's go for it. Heck yeah. Well, um, let's do that tonight. But until then, let's just cuddle upstairs and watch some TV. Come on, follow me. Oh, boy. I'm glad she liked the idea. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, come on in. All right, Miss Deborah, it's time for you to go home. Me and Edward's dad are going to bed soon. All right, Mom. Well, um, I'm just going to walk Deb outside, and, uh, yeah, thanks for the heads up. Don't mention it. It's lovely to have you here. Also, hope you enjoyed dinner. Oh, it was very good. Thank you very much. I'll be leaving now. Come on, Edward. Yeah, sounds good, Deb. 
All right, well, I'll be getting home now. You still up for what we talked about earlier? Well, I, I am if you are. I know it might be a little scary for you, you know, having to walk all the way over to my house again in the nighttime, but uh, if you're up for it, I am. Then I will head this way once you text me. Later, kitty. Yeah, later, Deb. Let me know when you get home. All right, so Mom and Dad have to be asleep by now, so I'll go ahead and ask her over, so let me go ahead and send the text. Okay, hey, Deb, you are good to go. Text went at front door. All right, so now I just have to wait for her to get here, and then we can head off to bed, which is really good because I am becoming super sleepy. Like, I am way more tired than I expected. Must have been all that sun we got yesterday at the at the river because I am pooped. Huh? I am at front door. Left earlier because parents were already asleep. Oh, wow. Well, I guess I should go let her in. Just uh, need to be quiet and stealthy. I, I don't want to get caught, so just got to be, well, quiet. All right, here we go. All right, here, I'm going to do this. We can do this. Okay. Oh, I gotta hate that door. Oh boy. Okay, we can do this. Just gotta be quiet. Just, and if you get caught, just pretend you're getting a snack. Oh my god, I feel like I'm even thinking too loudly. All right, we're almost there. Just need to go to the front door and get her. All right, now I gotta open the door quietly. Ugh. All right, come on, follow me a and shut that door, but quietly, okay? Come on. Just gotta get there and quietly. As soon as I get to the, the stairs, just walk normally like you got a snack. Okay. Everything's normal. Everything's normal. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're just gonna walk in. All right, here we go. Oh. Okay. So, looks like we did it. We were able to get in here, and we were able to get in here quietly. We forgot to shut the door, though, but that's okay. We're in my room, and my parents are asleep. I, I mean, I, I can't believe it. We did it! We did it, Deb! I know, right? Oh my gosh, if we get caught, we are in so much trouble. <laughs> it's worth it, though, right? Oh, absolutely. Now, are you ready for bed? Oh my gosh, so very much so. I I'm exhausted, and I don't know why. Good, me too. It will be so nice to go to sleep. <laughs> Agreed, especially with you in my arms. Now, um, let's go ahead and get some shut-eye. Come on. I'll show you where the bed is. <laughs> Come on. 